everybody and thank you for attending this webinar this evening. Um, so my name is Aurora Jones and right here you can see my business partner, mastermind partner, Lydia Brown. I'm making this quick introduction for those who are not familiar with our Monday calls with the Mastermind Fever team. So we are both of us, Lydia Brown and myself, or Robert Jones, the co-founders of Mastermind Fever. Uh, so we've got a private group on Facebook. And what we do, basically, the aim of this group is to help people find a mastermind partner, regardless of the, the business they are in. And also, we really want to challenge each other and become the leaders that we are all meant to become. So, for instance, um, Nicole, uh, Nicole Safely, the um, next week is going to host a webinar. Um, that will be a first, a first webinar with us, and she will talk about a free tool for time management to learn how to maximize the work not done and learn how to run our business properly. Okay, so everybody within our team in Facebook is actually getting challenged, you know, to um, try as well to host a webinar and become a leader. So what we do as well, as you can see on this um, PowerPoint presentation, it's actually a keynote as I'm using a Mac, uh, we've, uh, we've been inviting some top marketers like Tanya Alisa or the Blues Men of MLM. We've got here as well, Jessica Higdon. And um, last time, some of us were able, as part of the Mastermind Fever, to meet for the first time at the No Excuses Summit in Las Vegas. That was fantastic. I saw for the first time um, John Mark and then Veronica, the beautiful Lindsay just right here. And here we've got Nicole, Ellen, and the founders, co-founders of MLSP. So we all have, you know, a massive fun working together, challenging each other, doing what other leaders are doing to grow in confidence and build strong teams. So obviously it's not the subject of this evening, but just for those who are new, I wanted to give you a quick and brief presentation. So uh, at the end of the webinar, I will be giving you a link. So if you want to join us as part of the Mastermind Fever team and, you know, find a mastermind partner, share tips, strategies, comment on each other's videos, blog, basically helping, helping each other to grow our business, please feel free to come along. I will, I will send you an invite. So... Today's, well, this evening webinar would be mainly about four things. What we're going to learn today is how to invite all your Facebook friends to your Facebook page, which doesn't sound like that amazing or exciting, but when you know that you can take literally half an hour sometimes to add all your new friends to like your page, yes it can be quite annoying. The second thing as well, I'm going to show you this evening how you can send and invite you all your friends in less than five minutes. I'm also going to share with you how to add 250 free views to any of your YouTube videos. So this is quite exciting. And lastly, I'm going to share with you a tool that I use to create backlinks either to my uh, blog posts or to my videos and all of that being done on autopilot. So let's get started. So here is my profile page on Facebook. So far, I've got 2,885 friends. So in order to invite my friends, and most of them are um, business-minded people, uh, to invite them to my um, 
Facebook page, I would simply go to my fan page, which is Aurora Joel fan page. Very easy. And then the same way you can do exactly the same thing, I would go to build audience and then invite friends. So now I've sent quite a few invites for my friends to come to my fan page. I think it makes sense now. And uh, that's the reason why you would see them uh, like, you know, behind this white overlay. So I would then go to, to search all friends. But this is how it's going to work out for you if you haven't done it in the past. You are going to see something like, like that, you know, all the people that you want to invite to your page or your friends will be, you will see their face properly and then there will be a box next to it. So now imagine 2,000 friends and at the time, you know, it was probably less, but I had literally manually to go to each and every person to add to my fan page. It was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it was just like a real nightmare. And I had to scroll and scroll until the end. And literally, it would take me four, 30 minutes to an hour to do it. So there is actually a very simple, easy way for you to add all your friends to send them a Facebook friend um, to send them an invite to like your page. Okay, so it's actually using a script, and I find some great information through a guy that uh, Lindsay, uh, John Mark, uh, and Veronica met at the No Excuses Summit. Very cool guy. His name is Robert. I can't remember his surname now. What you will need to do is use a script. Now you need to think about the browser you're using. Are you using Safari? You know, if you're using a Mac or are you using Google Chrome? Think about the browser you are using. So uh, I did my own research on uh, online and I found that there is a script that you can use where like, for instance, I'm using Chrome. So Chrome added JavaScript. So I would simply need to copy this following script, go to my fan page, and just at the top right here in my browser, I'm going to copy and paste that script. And just before, I'm going to type in JavaScript. Okay, and then colon. Now, let's say you've got a long list of friends and it goes until the end. You will need to scroll down until the end of your page. That's probably the only thing you will need to do. So let me find again these um, people I wanted to send an invite to. Let's say... Um, Okay, this one, two, three. Okay, so now I'm simply going back to my browser and click enter. Ta -da -da! Bang! <laughs> this is miraculous. Because now, you know, let's say you had hundreds of people, you know, waiting to receive your invite, to like your fan page. You can literally do it now in less than five minutes. The only difficult thing in brackets you need to do is scroll down the list of all your friends and then copy the script, paste it, and simply click enter. And all the names will have a tick next to them. And the following step would simply be to click on submit. Bang. And once you click on submit, it says, We've let your friends know about your page. How cool is that? How cool is that? I'm so thankful because, wow, before, if I wanted to send uh, I have a, an invite for people to like my page or simply to create an event like this evening, you know, like inviting, let's say, you know, uh, more than 2,000 
Like I said, 2,700 people and adding them manually was simply a nightmare. So I'm going to share with you very quickly as well how to invite all your Facebook friends to an event like this one, for instance. You know, you would be creating your own event, but how you can do it in five minutes instead of spending again, you know, you know, an hour, 45 minutes. So same thing, you would go to your uh, Facebook feeds, you will click on events. And at the top right here, you will click on create event. So you will say, for instance, the name of your event is, uh, let's use Nicole's uh, webinar for next week. So it's going to be about um, time management tool. Then the details, how to manage your time effectively. Effectively, how to manage your time effectively, blah, 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 blah. The place here on the computer, when, let's say tomorrow, and then you would need to go right here, go to friends of guests, and it should be set on public, not friends of guests, but public. Then you will click, oh yeah, you will need to set the time. Let's say the time would be 9 p.m. Okay, has it come up with something? Oops. Not sure why it's not working right now. Well, let's say it's, it says 9 p.m. Probably because of the space, 9 p.m. Then you would change the time to Eastern time, Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, or whatever you decide. Then end time, anyway, you understand, and then you carry on. Then you will click on Invite Friends. This is where it becomes exciting, and this is where I was dreading that moment before. And now imagine, all my Facebook friends are all right here. And in order to invite them, I will be using the exact same script. So it seems that for Chrome, I first of all need to copy and paste this script and then add before uh, ELMS, JavaScript um, colon. I'm going to copy the script, paste it, and just before type in Java script. Here we go. Now, what is going to happen when I press enter? Whoa! <laughs> How exciting is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <laughs> I love doing it. So this is so great. I didn't have to spend two seconds doing this. Yeah, maybe five. <laughs> but this is simply amazing, simply amazing. And now this is what you're going to notice. The names right there below haven't been selected. Why? Because I didn't scroll down all the way to capture all their names. So what I should have done first is capture all their names so then each one of them would have had a tick next to their name. And then once I would have reached the end, you know, I would simply need to click on save and bang, the invite will be sent to all of them. And it will definitely save you quite a lot of time. So these were the two things. Now, um, if you use Safari, for instance, it seems that the script is exactly the same but when I've actually tried to copy one instead of the other one, it came up with an error message. Like, for instance, if I use this, I go back to the event. Um, let's say 
I'm going to stop that. Event. Because what is, this is what could probably happen. So don't get frustrated. Try several times to make sure that you actually have everything set correctly. Invite friends. So let me find out actually. So let's say I'm scrolling down. Awesome. So I'm using Google Chrome and I'm using the Safari script. I just want you found out if it's going to work or not. Bang. Okay. And now I would click and on enter. And here we go. That sends me straight to Google, basically saying that it's an error. You know, there is an error message coming through. And also what is very exciting and very interesting is that it seems to be simply amazing. Yes, it is amazing. But as a leader, you should know as well that whenever you've got a question in mind, you will find the answer online. And Google, wonderful Google, is actually going to give you the answer. So if you were to type in how to invite all your friends, probably the word script is not something you would have in your mind, but you would find relevant information. So you would simply need to go to the various posts, try them and see what works for you according to the browser you're using. So it is something that you need to, to, to bear in mind. You can find literally anything on Google. Ask yourself a question that many people would like to find the answer, become a problem solver, and simply you will be able to, um, to help many people around you. Excellent. Now, the second, the third thing I wanted to talk to you about is actually about a software that I've been using recently, and guess what? <laughs> this evening, it doesn't seem to be working. I think I've been just playing with it too much, and it probably cracked. But um, it's a great way to add views to your videos. Like, for instance, the other day, I was... I was using this video right here. Let me show you. That's the one with um, right here where I present an interview that we did with uh, Lydia Brown, my mastermind partner, with Jessica Higdon. So uh, that's probably why. Okay. So I had initially something like 53 views and by using the following um software you can actually add up to 250 views per day to your video so let me show you quickly one is called opera let me see opera.com so i'm using a mac that's the reason why it says you know download for mac but basically, the same way as you've got um, you've got a Safari, you've got Google Chrome, you've got Firefox. When you actually install this plugin onto your computer, it is going to create a new browser. So I've installed it already, and it looks like this. So Opera. So I simply. Find the link to my video right um, here. So I would simply copy this link, open up Opera, but I would have downloaded. I'm going to paste that link. And what is meant to happen, and it did happen <laughs> before I was doing the, uh, the webinar. You know, it's how it is. So, but you know, you need to try, it works, and I can show you another time if you are not sure how it works, but so the video will play. So you can hear my wonderful voice on my blog and, and the sound is amazing. And what is go what is meant to happen is that every 12 minutes, it refreshes the page and it changes this number here. And it went from 54 to 164. I think I probably need to install it again because I did something and uh, doesn't seem to be 
very happy. Okay, let's see. So the reason why it could change the number from 165 to 166 uh, every 12 seconds is because whenever somebody watches a video on YouTube every 12 seconds, it's actually counting it as a view. But it's the reason why it has been set to 12 seconds. So that's how you can get the number of views being added constantly. So now you may wonder, well, it's all well and good, but it's not from different IPs. It is from the same IP. But when people start watching your video, they actually see a big number. And people think that, well, you know, if there were that amount of people watching this video, it must be good. And I'm sure that uh, the information that you are providing anywhere are of good quality. So, yes it would be worthwhile watching, okay? So, um, sorry about that, it's not working very well properly for this, but it does work. I was absolutely amazed, you know, when I saw that. Another one as well, apart from opera.com, is called Auto Refresh Plus. So it works exactly the same way, you know, from what Robert was saying and actually tried it. It did work, let's say, for a couple of days, but I do find Opera being much more useful than Auto Refresh Plus. So what you will need to do is simply go to Google, google.com, and to enter Auto, Auto Refresh Plus. So it is detecting already that I'm using Chrome and this is what you will need to do. You simply click on the link, then download it onto your computer and you will have a small icon just right there. Very simple. And it says refre refresh page automatically plus monitor feature. So auto refresh plus not only that refreshes the page, but also supports content detection, which is very useful when you want to find some content in a dynamic web page. So if you can see right there, by simply having your video, so you'd have your video, and then you would set it to um, 12 or 13 seconds, and then press start, you will have a small counter oops, right there, and then it is meant to refresh the page. 11, 12 second bang, and it jumps straight to 168. So it's quite funny because you can actually leave it to play in the background and the number will simply go up and up and up. And I think it should stop automatically to, um, to 12 seconds. Here we go. Bang, the counter goes to zero, one, zero, zero. Bang, it refreshes the page and the counter goes up. The number of views could simply go up. It is. <laughs> I think I just tend to become a bit geeky these days. I find this very exciting. Exciting to see the number of views going up. <laughs> so it is something that you can use okay so the first one was called opera.com and the other one was auto refresh plus and i believe you can use it pretty much on any browser okay so you could leave it in the background and let it to play and here we go i'm going to stop it right there one thing actually i wanted to mention guys sorry about that i forgot if you remember when I mentioned uh, about creating an event and inviting all your friends, one thing you need to remember to do is not to add necessarily all your friends. Let me show you and let me explain to you why. We don't necessarily want Facebook to detect that we are using a script. They want us to believe that we are all going to spend 40 minutes you know, entering, you know, all our friends, but no, we don't want that. 
So let's say you type in your information and um, you go to public, then you invite friends. So once you've scrolled down and you've got all your friends, let's say I'm going back to my script. I want to make sure that you, you've got this right. I'm going to copy it and paste, then type in Java script just before because I'm using Chrome. And now that all my friends have been added, you know, I can decide to remove, let's say, John Mark. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, let's say Jessica Higdon. I want to remove Aaron Parker. I want to remove, uh, let's say, Gail. I want to remove, I mean, you see what I mean, yeah? So don't add everybody in. So make sure that you select very quickly the, per, the, per, the people that you want to attend to this, to this event, okay? And then once you click save, it is going to send an invite to all of them. And if eventually, you know, you change your mind and you wanted to add uh, more friends, you know, you can simply go to your event and simply add them from your page. So, next part and last part for this evening, okay? Are you all following me so far? Is everybody still breathing <laughs> tell me if i'm talking too fast or if you don't understand what i'm saying let me know thank you nicole is saying amazing yes it is amazing i mean when i saw that i was jumping for joy um nicole is saying i was able to download the plugin for chrome but actually i have to select all yes i've seen that as well yeah you can also uh, select all by using the button uh, next to the submit button so you don't have to put the script code in the address bar. It is correct. I've actually tried both. Sometimes it is working, sometimes it is not working. That's why, I mean, personally, I quite like using the script, but you are perfectly um, uh, correct by saying that if you search on Google uh, for a plugin, but actually add the select all button, you know, you're going to find the information that you need. Any tips on how many of these views you should do? I believe that the maximum you can add per day would be 250. So you could do that pretty much every day on the same, uh, on the same um, video, but, as much as I believe it is a great idea, but because it is not necessarily coming from different IPs and the time spent to refresh the page is only 12 seconds, probably it might count towards your statistics where uh, YouTube is going to say that, you know, people are only watching your video for 12 seconds when actually people watch your video for much longer. So it is possible that you can increase the amount of time, especially with this plugin right here, Autofresh, instead of being 12 seconds, it could be, uh, let me see, right, it could be 30 seconds. Even here, you can change it manually, maybe to two minutes. So, you know, that's something you could do if you wanted. I think it's good to try and experiment, but when I saw that, I was really excited because, uh, Yes, you know, this is, uh, this is helping. Now, the next thing I wanted to share with you is how to add 300 backlinks to your videos or to your post um, using this great tool, which is called Social Monkey. Has anybody used Social Monkey? This right here is 
called social monkey. So with social monkey, you've got different types of memberships. You've got, I've got actually two accounts with social monkey, one being silver, where you can send one URL per day and um, this URL will be sent to 25 social bookmark site, bookmarking sites. And this is something you need to understand. Whenever you create content, you need to have backlinks either to your videos or to your blog post or to your article. The reason being is that backlinks act as social votes. So the more votes you've got out there, the more the search engine is going to say this video or blog post is relevant to the query made by so-and-so online. Okay, Google is into helping people answering their questions. But in reality, is the people with most backlinks win. That's the name of the game, and that's how you will reach the first page of um of Google. So now if you hear that you can simply blog every day, non-stop, etc. Well, the reality, you know, for those who are in MLSP, if you got the course from uh, Rob Four. Um, predatory SEO is saying that blogging every day is not enough. You need as well to have backlinks. You need to have other sites telling, you know, referring back to your site. So when these sites are referring back to your site, they are kind of anchors on the online world. And they are saying, basically, you know, we are referring to this site because the information is good. So with Social Monkey. For the uh, when you are a silver member, I think it's one off payment of seven dollars. You can send this URL to twenty five social bookmarking sites, which have been created by the founders of um, of uh, of Social Monkey. So they are real sites with real value, real content, and it is going to get you backlinks every day to your content. So now, what you would do? Let's say, for instance, um, on my blog right here, I would simply need to go to time management strategies and daily activities for serious, serious network marketers, let's say. So let's say I'm going to that post. And what I would need to do is simply click on submit URL. So when I do that on submit URL, I would need to go to my um, to my post, copy the URL, copy the title, and fill in the information. What is actually more exciting is when you are already from your blog post, the, the actual blog post, not your blog, but blog post, and you download this plugin either on Firefox or on Chrome, and when you click on this right there, on this uh, monkey's face and when you click on submit url well let's say that if you were instead of being a silver member but platinum member your here we go it says as a premium member you can submit only three urls to 100 social bookmarking sites every day um, so now if you wanted to submit these free URLs to 150 social bookmarking sites, you will need to upgrade to Elite. I think that to be a premium member, it's about $37 and it's one off payment, which is absolutely awesome. If you got the course called uh, YouTube Mojo by the, uh, the Bluesmen of, uh, of MLM, um, Mark Arbet as well is just in recommending to use this plugin, which is a you know brilliant tool, and it's only one off payment. So <clears throat> to come back again, what I did, I clicked on this face, and because I was already on my blog post, bang, the information is already here. The URL is already right here. The title is right there, and then I can add. A de I mean, this description is actually from my blog post. So now the URL 
leave it exactly the same. But then for the title, as well as for your description, you would need to spin your content. Spinning your content means that um, instead of having the same information being sent exactly the same way to all these bookmarking sites, it is going to appear in all these bookmarking sites, but in different ways with, you know, not a different syntax, but different words. So it doesn't look like, you know, you submitted exactly the same content everywhere. So what you will need to have, as well as having this plugin, Social Monkey, you would need to use as well the, um, the best spinner. So the best spinner is also one of payment per year. But what I find great about the best spinner, apart from being actually one of the best spinners, is that you can use it in so many other resources online. Many people who are creating softwares are actually using the best spinner. So, so when I click on the best spinner, it is going to spin my title. It says spinning complete. Check your title field. You can still modify the title if you want. So this is what I'm going to have. Let me show you what spinning looks like. So it says time management, time administration, time. Uh, well, yeah. So it's going to be either time management or time administration. If it doesn't make sense, you can actually remove some words. So then it is going to make a proper sentence readable. So time management strategies, or it could be time management methods, time management techniques, time management approaches. So I don't really like this administration. I'm going to remove that and have time management only. So time management, strategies, methods, techniques, approaches, and daily activities. So it could be daily actions, daily routines, daily pursuits. I don't think it really makes sense. Everyday activities, everyday actions. So you see, when your content is going to be sent, it's going to appear in all these different places, in all those um, social bookmarking sites in different ways. Okay? So let's say I've changed the title, post suite, I don't like it, I scrap that, not going to make sense. So for serious marketers, severe marketers, doesn't make sense, significant marketers, critical marketers. And so it's going to change every single word, or pretty much every single word, and, and find a synonymous for it. And as I said, when it doesn't make sense, just change it. So I'm going to say for serious, I'm going to say for the next one, very serious. Very serious, critical, it doesn't make sense. So, I mean, you could send it this way, you know, straight away, but I like to make it, you know, understandable for everybody. So for serious network marketers, network entrepreneurs, you could say, uh, home-based business entrepreneurs, you know, so you can change that if you want. You copy this. Usually I use text edit file like this one and I would um, simply paste it. So now we had a text, short text right there. So let's say I'm copying this short text. I'm copying and pasting and I'm going to use the best spinner again. Bang, this is complete. I had 160 characters, and by spinning it, spinning it, more words, more synonymous have been added. So now I've got 671 words out of 1,200. So I'm going to check quickly if it makes sense. And if I'm happy with that, I simply need to add my tags, which are my keywords, which would be, let's say, time management. And another one would be time management strategies. And if you want to find more keywords, you would simply, you could simply use, you know, Google keyword, the free tool and add them there. Then you find a category, news, business, gaming, lifestyle. I'm going to say business. 
drip feed over nine days or over 14 days. So every day it is going to add backlinks to your content over nine days to 14 days. Then choose submission number site 100 because that's among the, uh, the premium account. If it was the silver account, it would only be 25. And right there, I'm going to click on preview and submit. Please don't use dashes in the title field. So going back, where have I used dashes? Is it maybe this one here? All right, so let me change this. Let me go to the beginning. So if you make a mistake, it's going to tell you. So let me again try, preview and submit. And here we go. So uh, time management techniques and everyday routine for serious network marketers. And if I were to try it again, it would come up with um, the same title using different words, the same link where I want to send backlinks to. And if I'm happy with that, you know, even with the short text right there, you know, I would click on submit to 100 sites. And for one of payment of, I believe, $37, it is simply awesome. Okay, it's very simple, easy to use. Um, I just, I just love it. Then, if you, want, if you wanted your grade to edit, to send your link to 150 bookmarking sites, well, this is what it does. Okay, so the edit is the best, you know, but premium is already really good. So let's say that you wanted to go back to your dashboard then what is going to happen is after nine days or 14 days according to um, the time you've decided to select for the drip feed of backlinks so they are not all coming in one go we want them to be natural well you will be able to get a report and from this report you would be able to download the report and you will have a series of links here we go it's coming in a text file so let's say i open this file so i will simply need to copy all the links and then paste them to ping them ping them is basically saying to the search engine hello hello i've created some content please find it so People would use, for instance, Ping Farm, pingfarm.com. So whenever you create a content, you need to ping your content. I would simply need to copy and paste if I did it properly. So copy, copy and paste. And once, once I've done that, I would simply need to mass ping it, okay? So I simply ping all my URLs, and it's going to say status ping, 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 so on and so forth. But they are giving you as well some other sites such as... It says for faster, better results, make sure you submit your RSS fees to ping services like Pingomatic, highly recommended, Build Ping, highly recommended as well, Feed Shark, Ping Goat, and right here they are explaining to you what to do so you don't feel lost. Okay, so whenever your reports have been created, simply collect so your content basically has been spinned and sent you all for different places online. So it means that at some point, most of them will actually come back to you as a backlink saying, you know, you've got a backlink, but well, it's not going to say to you, you've got a backlink, but you know that now your content is having more authority because other websites are referring to it. 
So Van Social Monkey is very simple, very easy to use. It's simply brilliant. And I think it's about $37 or $47 for one off payment. Then, obviously, if you want to move to the level above and found out exactly how to bring back links to your content, either for your videos, if you decide to do YouTube marketing, or if you decide to use article marketing, you know, in the back office of MLSP, we have got some great training, you know, on how to rank on the first page of Google. But this is a great tool to use as well, recommended by top leaders. So this is it for this evening. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, those who would like to know more about Social Monkey, if you go to aurorajones.com slash SOMO, so for Social Monkeys, SOMO, S-O-M-O, and uh, for those who want to know more about YouTube um, traffic, you know, we've got this uh, views using Opera and uh, the other one, the Auto Refresh Plus. You know, if you want to go to the next level, you know, if you haven't got the YouTube traffic module, get it. It is absolutely phenomenal. It is going to talk to you about Social Monkey. It is going to talk to you as well about how to use this amazing tool called Magic Submitter. So that would be bit.ly slash ttmg. bit.ly slash ttmg. It sounds like a nice, nice music. And uh, for those who are looking to find out more about MLSP and know how to generate leads online the right way, connect with like-minded people, like the people we've got in the Mastermind Fever team, we've got loads of great people who are simply the next leaders of MLSP and are going to do some tremendous, tremendous thing, simply go to bit.ly slash mlsp or lead a u r l i y d okay so i will probably post the information on facebook so everything would be there and yes make it happen just to finish i hope you enjoy it enjoyed it just tell me if you liked it thank you very much nicole that was great content. Thank you. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. If you liked it, let me know as well. I just want to remind you that next week we are going to have a great webinar with uh, Nicole. Nicole Safely. I hope I'm saying your, your surname properly, darling. And um, it is going to be about using... A free tool for time management to learn how to maximize the work not done. So basically, how to stop procrastinating and get the work done and how to run your business properly. This is going to be great. It is going to be your first webinar and we want to give some support to her because after she's done the webinar, then there will be somebody else as well 